Hello and welcome. My name is Zaid. I'm an ethical hacker, a computer scientist, and I'll be your instructor in this course. As mentioned in the course requirements, you need to finish the network hacking section of my general ethical hacking course or finish my network hacking course before starting this course. This is because this course builds up on what you learn in these courses. So the main sections in this course have similar titles to the titles used in the other courses. That's because, like I said, it builds up on what you learn in these courses, but the content in here is more advanced. So in the first section, the pre-connection section, we're going to be revisiting the pre-connection attacks and we're going to build up on what you learn to run more advanced attacks. So you're going to learn how to change your MAC address manually so you can change it on any device that supports that without relying on any tools. You're going to learn how to extend the pre-connection attacks that you know so far and run them against 5 GHz clients and 5 GHz networks. And you're also going to learn how to extend the deauthentication attack and target multiple computers and multiple networks at the same time. Once done with that, we're going to move to the gaining access section. In this section, we're going to talk about how to gain access to various types of networks and various types of encryptions. Now, by now, you know some basic methods to gain access to WAP, WPA and WPA2. But in this course, before we talk about the advanced methods to do that, I'm going to show you how to bypass some security implementations that will prevent you from even trying anything against these networks. So you're going to learn how to discover the names of hidden networks, how to run the attacks against them, and how to bypass MAC filtering, whether it's implemented using a blacklist or using a whitelist. Once done with that, we're going to move to cracking web, WPA and WPA2. But in each of these sections, we're going to be covering new, more advanced attacks that will either allow you to get the password quicker or they'll allow you to bypass some security features implemented by the router or they'll enhance your attack and al allow you to target even more secure networks. In this course, we're also going to cover WPA and WPA2 Enterprise, which we never spoke about before. These are similar to secure networks implemented in colleges and companies where there is an encryption used. And even when people connect to the network, they have to put a username and a password. Not only that, but we'll also cover captive portals. So these are similar to networks used in hotels and in airports where you when the, where there is no encryption used but once you connect you have to put a username and password in this section i'm also going to show you how to manually create fake access points we're going to break that down into its smaller components and then combine it all together to create a fake access point that looks like any other normal wi-fi network so you're going to understand exactly how fake access points work. And then I'm going to show you how to use it to gain access to WPA and WPA2 networks without running any guessing and without doing a brute force attack. You'll also learn how to use that to gain access to captive portals. And you'll learn how to use it to, with any other scenario that you think of. Once done with this, we're going to move to the post connection attack section. In this section, you're going to learn a number of attacks that you can do after connecting to the network. So all of the attacks that you're going to learn here will work against both Wi-Fi and wired networks. In here, you're going to learn how to become the man in the middle using ARP spoofing, how to bypass HTTPS and sniff sensitive data, how to do DNS spoofing, all of which you already know, but you're going to learn how to do this manually without relying on scripts like man in the middle F. So you're going to understand how each of these components work and you'll be able to adapt this to a number of scenarios, regardless of how you become the man in the middle, whether you became the man in the middle using an ARP spoofing attack or using a fake access point or using any other method. Not only that, but I'm also going to show you how to properly analyze the flows that flow in your network. And I'm going to show you how to start creating your own attacks and write scripts that will automatically execute your own ideas and your own attacks. 
So by the end of this section, if you just have an idea of an attack and there is no tool at all that does that attack, you're gonna know how to first of all analyze how the traffic flows and then think of how you're gonna implement this attack and you're also gonna have the skills to literally write a script that'll execute this attack for you. At the end of each of these sections, we're gonna talk about the security aspect and how to secure yourself and your systems from these attacks.